questions, Beth of Thimblehooks, thanks for stopping by. So I get tons of questions on Enterlock, the Tunisian crocheted Enterlock, uh, where you make the little squares. And my biggest question that I ever get is how do I make my squares a different size? I don't want to make 5x5, five five. I want to make a really big square or I want to make little tiny squares. So I came up with the formula. I did all the math for you. I will give you my magic formula. So even if you wanted to make something as huge as this guy, this is a 25 by 25. You can see the pink part was my chain. And it worked every time. Works every time. This math will always be right. This is a 10 by 10 square. This is a 12 by 12 square. This is 7 by 7. And this is 4 by 4. And all of them that I did here with my pink was my original chain done with my math, with my formula. As you can see here, I used every stitch and I did not have any extras, nor did I have too few. It was right on. Okay, so first of all, you're going to want to make sure you have the correct hook. I was using Yarn Bees Sugar Wheel Cotton. This is a three weight. A, three, a light three weight and wants a four and a half millimeter hook? No, no, no. You must get bigger. I suggest going up two hook sizes if possible. I have a six and a half. So that's what I will be using. That's what I use for every one of these examples. There's a six and a half instead of the four and a half. This is what happens if you don't use a bigger hook. It gets all curled up into a little sad little mess. And there's no reason to do that. Just use a bigger hook. Remember, that's why I got out my six and a half. You will not be able to use one that has a grip on it because you're going to need more space right here. Sorry, favorite hook. You've got to go. We need to go back to at least an aluminum hook like this that has no, no grip on it. Or preferably if you have Tunisian hooks like this one or like this one or like my furls. As long as you have a nice Tunisian. Look at that. That's a beauty. You have a nice Tunisian hook or some hook that has no grip on it so you have some have some working space here too, especially for the really big squares. So I've got my six and a half millimeter hook. Check, I'm ready. So you're gonna have to figure out two things. How many posts do you want your square to be across? And how many squares do you want? That's all you have to figure out. And then I'm gonna tell you how to insert those numbers into my formula. So for example, the number of posts that you want wide, right here. The typical interlock is a five by five square. Well, this one is a four by four. I don't want to make a five by five, right? So you take the number of posts that you want it to be times two plus one. And that would be one for one square. Take that number times how many squares you want. Take that final number plus one. That's all you need. So we'll do an example on this little guy. Number of posts wide, one, two, three, four, times two is eight, plus one is nine. So each square is going to be nine, times how many squares you want. So this is one, two, three, four, I made five squares. Nine times five is 45, plus one. So you would chain 46. There you go. For the 10. I made this guy is five long, is five wide also. So for the 10, it's a 10 by 10. So 10 times two is 20, plus one is 21, times five squares, 21 times five is 105, plus one. You would chain 106. Easy peasy math. And the next question that I would always have is, and then how many am I supposed to pull up? That original number that you came up with right here for four, you pull up five. For this one is a seven, you pull up eight. For this one is 10, you pull up 11. This one is 12, pull up 13. The big one, pull up 26. So it's easy peasy. I promise this math will work every single time. Remember this is horizontal. The diagonal one is in a different video. You can go and see that one in a little bit. But I tell you, this math is going to work every time. The number of posts you want your square to be wide, 
so it's going to be a 4 by 4 square or 6 by 6 square. Pick that number. Take that number times 2. Get that answer. Plus 1 times how many squares you want. Plus 1. And you're done. That is your golden number for how many you want to chain. You will not have too many. You will not have too few. You will have exactly how many you need. So you can make something that looks as beautiful as these giant squares. Make a huge throw. Instead of all those tiny little 5x5 five five squares, this is a 25x25 25 25, and I made two of them together. But remember this will take a hot second to make because there's a lot of stitches here. If you want to see the detail on how to do all of the stitches for interlock, I have reversible interlock, I have horizontal interlock, I have diagonal interlock. All of those things can be found somewhere up here or down below, maybe at the end, I don't know. It's all going to be there. You can find all of my different interlocks. I have a whole playlist of interlock and plus a whole much more stuff coming very soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.